Hey everyone! Welcome back to another Pick a Card reading here on my YouTube channel, Into the Light. Thank you so much for being here today and clicking on this video. So today's Pick a Card reading is going to be about what the current energy is of your person in mind. So your person in mind, what are they going through? Maybe what steps are they looking to take next? We're going to figure that out today. So we have three crystals to choose from. We have crystal one with the carnelian crystal, crystal two with the labradorite crystal, and crystal three with the sunstone crystal. So those are your three crystals to choose from today. Think about your person and think what is the current energy that you're in. And let your intuition guide you to your crystal of choice. Now, without further ado, we're going to get started with your reading. If you have chosen Carnelian Crystal number one, you'll be first. You can find your timestamps in the description box or the comments down below. I'll see you at your reading. All right, so if you have chosen the Carnelian Crystal, you found your way to your reading. So what is the current energy of your person? So let's figure it out. I'm going to start off with the Gypsy Oracle cards. What is the current energy of your person, those who have chosen the Carnelian Crystal? What is their current energy? What is going on with them? Okay. You have Pleasure Seekers, Despair, and we have Love. Back of the deck, we have Haughty, Haughtiness. Such an interesting word. Okay, so your person currently, they wanted to have like a new experience in love. They wanted to try to get themselves back out there again. They wanted to, you know, make themselves more confident to approach people, make themselves more, you know, build their self-esteem, you know, but they found that putting themselves out there and experiencing something new was scary to them because they realized they had to be vulnerable right? They had to be vulnerable in love. And this is something that caused them kind of like heartache, kind of to feel like they aren't ready because they weren't ready to open up. They weren't ready to fully show who they are. Like they thought they were like, they could do it. They had all that courage. They did it and they took the first steps, but then they realized like halfway through that there's something else deeper that they needed to deal with before even involve evolving themselves in a connection. Even with platonic relationships as well, this person kind of struggled with, um, you know, keeping those connections close. Like they had a lot of like disappointments, even with past relationships as well. And that's because this person is kind of somebody that um, doesn't really want to admit their wrongs. You know, they don't want to admit that they're wrong. They don't want to be vulnerable. They just want to make it seem like everything's okay because they don't like showing people their deepest emotions. And perhaps you're somebody that does that and it kind of scares them because they know that's something that they've been running from themselves. Okay. Let's see what the angel answer cards have here. Be assertive. Yeah, maybe you guys are really assertive, especially with how you feel, how you express yourself. And this person can't match your energy in that way um, because they're more used to just keeping to themselves. We got if you believe and listen to your intuition. So this person is feeling like that they can they can um, have a relationship. They know that they can and they just need to believe in themselves. They just need to reconnect with their inner power here, you know? This person needs to listen to their intuition as well instead of listening to their mind, like listening to their ego, you know? And currently this person is like feeling really vulnerable, really hurt, but it's like they know that they have to tackle things um, about themselves. What is this here? Yeah, this person needs to let go of the person that they were before in order to have more success in their relationships. They need to let go of the current image that they've built up for themselves, the way that they've been conditioned to react, the way that they've been conditioned to um, 
withhold information and how they feel in relationships and connections here. So let's see what else. Current energy of your person. We're using the Work Your Life Oracle. Yep. So we have you're already doing it. Let me get you a little close up. So your person, it's like they, this is a thing. They step into something. They step into a new adventure. They step into a new experience and they're so happy. They have that courage. And then halfway there, they get kind of discouraged, right? They get really scared um, because they're kind of scared of being vulnerable. They're, they're afraid that their romantic relationships won't, you know, blossom and work out the way that they should. And if they notice anything, like any issues, even if it's really minor, they start to break down and pull pull away. But it's like, this is saying, stop overthinking. See that despair card? Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. And so this person, it's like, the thing is that they overthink. You know, they think too much about what to say, what was said. They think too much about like the future. And if this happens, then maybe I'll mess things up. And I don't want to mess things up. So I might as well pull away, you know? So that's what I'm sensing there. Let's pull out some tarot cards. Okay, something else turned over here. Yep. Yeah, this person needs to master their energy. This is, this is calling for a new beginning. Like this person needs a new beginning in their life. Um, they need to work on themselves, work on healing their energy. They need to be more transparent with you and communicate with you as well. This person is kind of somebody that heals. They definitely heal on their own and they need to be on their own to heal because this person is this magician here. They have the ability to manifest, um, Manifest anything that they need, the outcome that they want in their life as well. But as well, like because this person is a powerful manifester, they can, they have that willpower to do whatever they want to. Sometimes if they are in this low vibration, they can be a little bit caught up in illusions or can be a little bit manipulative, right? But this person, I'm not saying that that's how they are. I'm just saying when they are in a lower energy that this can happen and this person could be a little bit impulsive as well. So next we have the two of cups and with the two of cups here, this is basically saying that this person, um, together you can manifest a lot of things. It's like, I feel like this is also just another sign of law of attraction. This person is trying to attract you back into their life. Um, Yeah, this is somebody that you sense that you can be committed to. There's no confusion here. Like you really feel like this person is the one and they sense that with you as well. They really feel like you guys are soulmates that you're meant to be. Um, and that's why they get really anxious and hesitant because they don't want to mess things up. Okay, so that's what I got for you guys that chose pile one with the carnelian crystal. If you enjoyed that reading, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see y'all in the next one. Bye now. All right, so if you have chosen pile two with the labradorite crystal, you found your way to your reading. So what is the current energy of your person? Let's figure it out. So we're going to start off the Gypsy Oracle uh, cards to figure out what your person's currently going through. Uh, okay, so we have service, joyfulness, and faithfulness. Okay. This is also showing up, reunion. So we have um, misfortune at the back of the deck. So this is kind of just evident here. This person... I'm sensing this person has left. This person has left with service. And it's like the hat is off as well. So it's like this person has said farewell. And it's like they are the hat off being off means like this person is going through something and they need to retreat. They need to get going. 
This person senses that you are somebody that is happy and has a lot of things going for you. That you're abundant. You know, you're full of joy. You can really manifest anything in your life, right? And you have a good gr group of people around you. You have a good circle around you. Even if it's like a few friends, you have loyal people around you, right? So this person kind of felt the feeling that they weren't good enough for you. Maybe they couldn't love up to your certain standards. But they knew that they wanted to be loyal to you. They did want to be committed to you. But it's like they noticed a lot of things about themselves that they wanted to fix and work on before they even got into a relationship. Because they do sense that this relationship is something different. You know, there's a deeper meaning to this relationship and that's where we have reunion here too. It's like this person acknowledges that this is like a reunion of souls here, you know? And it's like this person feels like, why is this happening to me right now when I am not at my best, when I'm not at my greatest? And it's because this person had to be, what's the word, selfless? And just do, make a decision. This person had to be, had to make a, a decision here. Like they kind of didn't need to be selfless because they had to make that decision to let go, even when they felt like things were great. They didn't want to, maybe in the past, this person was somebody that kind of held on to relationships that were really, and people that were really good for them, but they kind of like drained their energy and sucked their energy out because they weren't their cup wasn't full, you know, they were kind of taking like kind of an energy vampire and this person didn't want to be that way with you. So this person had to make that decision to leave and changing, like turning away, turning their back was the hardest decision they could ever had made. And that's because this is why misfortune is here. They didn't want things to be disrupted. They didn't want things to blow up. They didn't want things to end badly. They wanted to stop that cycle from happening. Okay. So let's see what we have here the angel answer cards we have reconsider again yep this person was reconsidering like their position right now like they're trying to figure out like yeah they had to take they had to make that decision to walk away and focus on healing themselves before like even causing any disrupt in this connection but like with the reunion here i do sense this person wants to come back to you but they want to come back better right but this can take it like it's all different for everybody it doesn't this is a general reading but it's like different for everybody of how long or how short this person will take but yeah this person will take action as well okay a year from now just came out but upside down so it's a year or less that's what i'm saying a year or less from now that this reunion will happen this person will come back into your life if it's not since if you're watching this video year of 2020 maybe this person will come back year of 2021 right and we're in october so that's like only like two months away right two or three months away so it could be next year. We have success. Yes. So this relationship with this. Oh, we also have within the next few months, as I said, a year or less. So within the next few months as well for some people. Um, yeah, from making this decision, I feel like you both had to make that decision to walk away and focus on yourself. And this is what's going to bring more success into your relationship and make it more healthy here. Okay. And there will be a lot of drastic changes in this connection. And maybe for some of you, you might decide to fully walk away and go with someone else. Like that could be what you want. Like it's up to you. But at least you know you'll be more powerful and more understanding of yourself. So you can be um, more open and receptive to understanding others, right? And being more loving. Oh, and we also have within the next few weeks. Okay, so here are the timelines for this person coming back. A year from now, within the next few months, and we have within the next few weeks. That's three timing cards. Okay. Okay. 
So let's go in with the Work Your Light Oracle card. I'm just going to pull one. Birthing a new freaking age. Oh my goodness. Bringing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. Yep. This is, this connection is having a new start. And if it's like, there's a new start in this connection, but there's more, more, um, more greatly, like even better, like there's a new start within yourself, right? Birthing a new age. This is you guys ending cycles individually and together. You're ending cycles with relationships. You're learning to walk away when things aren't right, to work on yourself. You're learning to, um, you know, better yourself instead of like bleeding on other people. You know, this connection, like this group, you're learning about breaking unhealthy patterns, unhealthy cycles, right? This is why we're getting birthing a new age. That's beautiful. We have chariots. Yeah, this is again success, being able to move forward despite any oppositions, being able to um, stay committed to your path, right? Okay. These cards. Ooh. Sorry, deck fell. Wow. Okay. I'm going to take them all out here. Wow. Okay. So we have the Ace of Wands. Oh, the Six of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Two of Swords. We have the Ace of Cups, the Lovers, and the Pentacle, Ace of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. There's three Aces here. So again, with all these Aces, like the multiple Aces, this is showing me a new beginning in this connection here. A new beginning within yourself as well, right? This is really good luck. This is abundance coming your way this is you guys having that creative direction this is the decision being made um with the two of swords this is like instead of it being like a way that you don't want to make see this is like feeling like I don't want to make a decision I know there's two options to go but I don't want to you guys just took off the mask you took off the mask by yourself and made that decision. You left no time to waste with making this decision. And that's why things may have been really abrupt and intense in this connection. Um, because you guys had, you guys didn't hold back, you know? You made that decision to do right, right? So With the three aces, since there's not four here, this is showing me that there is going to be luck and there is going to be success in this connection, but not without some sort of hard work, right? Without some sort of hard work and patience, you know, you'll get what you desire, but it will take effort here, right? We have the six of cups and the lovers. So this is a powerful connection here. I just saw one, one, one on my clock as well. This is a soulmate divine connection. And I feel like you guys are in divine intervention here. That's what's happening. And I feel like your person right now, like, even though they're kind of upset and sad that this isn't like working for them right now, they know it was a good decision to make to find more stability in this connection. And also take in the way that all the aces are here and it kind of like covers the, the lovers in the middle here. This is like a protective barrier. This is new beginnings for this connection here. Okay. You both had to face reality. You both had to admit your emotional failures. Right? You both had to be vulnerable in a way that you had to like pull back and not let this go any further with hurt. 
You know, you had to focus on yourselves in order to have this new beginning. All right. Do I have all the cards out here? Yeah. Wow. That's beautiful to see. Okay. I'm going to do a one last glance at this and see if there's anything else I can see that is turning up. But yeah, again, with three aces, this is a for sure new beginning. As this card says, birthing of a new age. A lot of opportunities are coming into this connection as well. Um, yeah, even if you feel like things are getting nowhere, you're feeling frustrated because this will happen. You'll feel frustrated, feel like blocked and, you know, all of that stuff. You got to keep your heart open when you most want to close it, you know? So keep on going. That's what I got for you guys that chose Pile 2. If you enjoyed that reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see y'all in the next one. Bye now. All right, so those of you who have chosen the Sunstone Crystal, you found your way to your reading. So what is the current energy of your person? Let's figure it out. All these piles have been really good so far, so I'm happy about this. I woke up this morning and I just thought, current energy of your person reading. And I was like, okay, I'm doing it. I'm pretty sure Spirit sent that message to me to do this. So, good signs. Okay, current energy of your person, those who have chosen the Sunstone Crystal. Okay, we have foe in the reverse. Wife in the reverse. Sorry, I got itch my eye here. Foe and wife in the reverse. Interesting. Okay, yeah. Let's keep shuffling. I'm going to take a few more cards, see what this is. We have fortune, interesting, current energy of your person, size, okay, we have reunion. This showed up in the last pile as well, reunion. So let's see what we got here. Current energy of your person. All right, so with foe here, there's something or some kind of like something your person has neglected in their life. Maybe there's a, some sort of responsibility that they've neglected to focus on, you know, this connection. Um, maybe people are asking them like, where did you go? You know, like, what did you do? Like, well, you just abandon your responsibilities here. Maybe this person is somebody that gets really lost into their connections and they kind of lose themselves in it as well. And they stop focusing on what they need to do personally in their life. So this person kind of loses their individual individuality, right? I feel like this person as well especially with wife being in reverse, this person may have felt like they they were giving too much to you, putting too much energy into you without like considering their own needs, you know? Hmm. Yeah, I feel like this person may have felt like you might have been like kind of demanding or something and they had to focus a lot of their energy on you, you know? Yeah, it's like they're focusing more of their energy on you instead of like their fortune, instead of their abundance, instead of their responsibilities, right? I feel like this person was missing that life that they had prior to meeting you. And it has nothing to do with you as a person, really. But it's just like this person doesn't know how to balance um, relationships and 
their own life. They don't know how to be an individual when it comes to relationships, right? And maybe this person was just missing, like, having all those things to work on and being able to build their abundance by themselves. Maybe this person was missing, like, you know, working, missing, like, focusing on their goals and their dreams. And maybe you were reaching for your goals and dreams and this person was kind of, like, pause. That's why we have size here looking at fortune because there's something that this person felt like they're missing out on when it comes to um, their abundance. So I feel like this person might want to focus on this more. And then maybe later on there will be this reunion where you guys come back together. However, this person is missing being them being on their own. Because this card also gives me the vibes of Nine of Pentacles. And that's like a single card. Like somebody that just, you know, is fine being themselves. They're fulfilled by on the on their own, you know, without anybody else. So I feel like this person might have been like missing single life as well. You know, missing just focusing on doing their own thing. So let's see what we have here with the angel answer cards. Yeah, we have communicate clearly. So this person might have not even communicated with you. This is how they've been feeling. But they kind of just started pulling away a little bit. You know, especially with fault being in the reverse, like this person may have never spoke to you about it. We have the situation will improve. So over time, as I said, like this person might need to like just work, work on themselves right now. You know, this person might feel the need to um, kind of put this situation on hold, put this connection on hold, because, you know, again, they might be really busy with things going on in their life. You know, we have choose a new direction. Yeah. This person is choosing themselves right now. And you can't even be mad at that. You should always choose yourself first. And this is what they're doing. They're choosing themselves. They're choosing to work on their self. Yeah, and then we have let go in a year from now. So maybe for this group, like you guys are being told to let go of this situation right now. And wait until like a year from now to see how things go. Because the situation will improve. Um, but right now you just got to let go. We have unlikely and be assertive that came out as well. For some of you guys, like maybe this connection is just going to be coming to an end and you might be finding yourself in a different relationship soon as well. That's what I'm getting here. So let's see what the Work the Light Oracle cards we got. Trust your path. Yeah, some of you guys have a different path. Some of you guys actually need to let go of this person and do your own thing. You know, you can't, like, you can have, like, focus on your abundance and focus on love at once, but that's only if you have that balance, you know, if you are capable of doing that. Like, a lot of people, like, for example, People don't get really like married unless they have enough money, unless they have, you know, their lives sorted out first, right? It's like you need to sort out your lives before you make a commitment to something else or someone else. And you see that, choose a new direction and trust your path. Okay, so you guys might be telling you it's time to Understand you're supported. Whatever decision you make, you are supported and that you're not going to run into any kind of disrupt or anything. Like, try not to hold so tightly onto something when you know it's time to turn away. You know? Trust your path. Trust that everything's going to work out in the end. You know, you right now you're just going through these lessons. Okay. We're just going to go on with the tarot cards. Current energy of your person. Sunstone crystal. Two of swords. 
Yeah, somebody, it's like you know there's, you have to make a decision. You know the truth of something, but it's like you don't want to acknowledge it. And the, the more you don't acknowledge it, you're limiting yourself from being free, from having that freedom. Yeah. Some of you guys need to go in hermit mode right now and focus on yourselves. Like, you don't have all of the answers right now. And that's why you need to have this introspection. That's why you need to reflect. Time to reflect. All these cards are, like, blue as well. So I feel like you guys need to connect to your throat chakra and just be, like, be true to yourself. Like, be honest with yourself. Be transparent with yourself. And really get to the bottom of, like, what can be um, upsetting you. You know? What is causing you to hold on so tightly? And I feel like you guys are holding on really tightly because you are you don't want to go through the same uh, process of being vulnerable to somebody and opening up to somebody again. And, you know, it is a lot of work to have a relationship and, like, you know, being able to open up to someone again. And that's why you kind of hold on to... The person that you get that you feel like is all right but maybe they're not 100 percent sufficient but maybe we can work on this together you know but it's like when you hold on too tightly it causes more hurt than it does good you know i feel like this person just wants to like be on their own right now and you can't really be mad at them for that. And what they're doing is a reflection of what you need to do as well. And that is to focus on yourself. Yep, focus on building your own abundance. Nurturing yourself, mothering yourself. You know, letting go of that baggage, uh, that emotional baggage, and really just work on building yourself up. Okay? Yep, because there's success coming for you. And at the back of the deck, you have the Eight of Pentacles, but it's like you need to focus on your success. You need to focus on building yourself up. Focus on your finances in order to have this success, in order to have this victory. All right? So that's what I got for you guys that chose the Carnilla, no, <laughs> the Sunstone Crystal um, Pile 3. If you enjoyed that reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see y'all in the next one. Bye now.